In this tutorial, you will learn how to find people in Moodle 3.6 and how to send them messages. One way to find people is through the participants list. Click the participants link at the top left side of your classroom page. All of the participants are listed, including your faculty mentor. You may scroll down to look for people by name, but there is an easier way. We invite you to try the new filter options. You can use the filter box at the top left to search by keyword, that is by name, or you can select one of the preset filters. You can also click the letters at the top of the participants list to search by first or last initial of the person's name. Example, first name Candice, you would click on C in the first row of letters, or last name Thompson, you would click on T in the bottom row of letters. Here is a look at some of those preset options in the filter. When you click on the filter, you will see all of the groups in your course listed, also the mentoring groups. So it's very easy to search for all the participants who are in your study group or in your mentoring group. Here's an even quicker way to access your messages and to find participants in your course. If you know the name of the person you're looking for, look at the top right of your screen next to your name and profile picture. Click the message bubble icon. If you already have messages, they will be displayed here. You can use the search box at the top to find any Moodle user, even one who is taking or teaching a different course. Simply type in the name of the person you want to message. For example, type your mentor's first or last name and a list of matching users will appear. If there are two persons in Moodle who have the same name, then of course you can differentiate through their image. Your mentor's profile image will match the image of your mentor in the participants list. Once you have gotten your short list of matching names, just select the correct contact and scroll down to type your message in the box at the foot of the page. You can send a message even if the recipient is offline. They will receive an email notification. You can also send a message through the participants list. When you get to the participants list, click on the name or profile picture of the person you want to message. That will open the person's profile page. Click the message icon or link to open up a message box. You can also access a user's profile from any post in the forums. Click on the user's name or profile image to go to their profile page. Again, click the message icon to open up the message box. That's it for now. Remember, always be courteous. The rules of forum etiquette outlined in the welcome unit of your course apply to Moodle messaging as well. You are not obligated to respond to private messages from anyone. Please report inappropriate messages to your faculty mentor. Abusers of the messaging facility may be removed from the course. For help, email the Wilmette Institute's help desk at learn at wilmetteinstitute.org.